Again, 7.75% financing. <laughs> That's right. Now through Monday only, Knox Ford is offering 7.75% financing on selected models like a well-equipped Ranger pickup. With 7.75% financing, one can be yours for under $8,000. Or how about a fully equipped Wildcat Edition Aerostar van with air conditioning, stereo, and automatic transmission for just $14,995. 7.75% financing. Only this weekend and only at Knox Ford, just 20 minutes from Louisville, Highway 31 in Muldraw. Quality fashion clothing with the biggest selection for men, women, and children. Foster Doors Consignment Incorporated, Louisville's unique consignment department store. Newlywed Game moves to 4.30 beginning Monday. Emotion has been a constant companion of the LSU basketball program this week. There was happiness over a win yesterday, yes, but also deep sadness over the passing of former Tiger Don Redden, whose parents shared yesterday's emotions with LSU coach Dale Brown. But today, emotions are peaking because we're live in the Assembly Center on the LSU campus where today berths in the SEC Tournament Final go up for grabs. Hi again, everybody. Gary Sparber for Jefferson Pilot Teleproductions as we bring you coverage of the semifinal round of the SEC Tournament. First, it's LSU taking on Kentucky, and then Georgia and Florida go to battle, and we want to show you how the teams got to this point. First of all, in the first round, Ole Miss knocks off Alabama in overtime, 64-59. Then Georgia eliminates Mississippi State, 64-43. In the afternoon session of the quarterfinals yesterday, LSU by 7 over Vanderbilt, and Florida by 7 over Tennessee. And then last night, the number one seat holding form, Kentucky beating Ole Miss, 82-64. But the number two seat, Auburn, getting knocked off by Georgia, 65-60. So that sets up our semifinal doubleheader this afternoon. And to give you their thoughts on that, let's go to our game announcers, Tom Hammond and Jordy Hultberg. Thank you, Gary. We're looking forward to a great afternoon of basketball. And, Jordy, as you take a look at the semifinals, all the ingredients are in place for a couple of great games. Everyone expected Kentucky and Florida to be exactly where they are. Georgia with the big upset, and it's smart. So how can you count LSU out? Dale Brown pulls the strings. We're down to the final four of the SEC. And the excitement building here in the Assembly Center as we approach the first game of the afternoon, matching league champion Kentucky against the LSU Tigers. The key word for LSU is emotion, and after Don Redden's death, the Tigers dedicated the tournament to their former teammate. Those emotions were released after the win over Vandy, and Dale Brown led the celebration. Ricky Blanton had one of his best performances, never leaving the game and scoring 30 points. But LSU faces a formidable task in knocking off Eddie Sutton's top-seeded Kentucky team, now playing its best basketball of the season. Rex Chapman keyed the Wildcats win over Ole Miss with 19 points and five assists in 29 minutes of play. The winner crosses the river to the finals in Baton Rouge. Yeah. From Baton Rouge, Louisiana, it's the semifinals of the Southeastern Conference Tournament as LSU takes on Kentucky. Jefferson Pilot Teleproductions proudly presents exclusive live coverage of Southeastern Conference Basketball, the 1988 Tournament. This semifinal game is brought to you by the Jefferson Pilot Company. For insurance and financial services, better call JP. By Budweiser, proud sponsor of the 1988 U.S. Olympic team. This Bud's for you. By Gulf Oil, you go or Gulf pays the tow. And by Ford and your Ford dealer. Have you driven a Ford lately? Live from the Assembly Center on the LSU campus in Baton Rouge, it's the semifinals of the Southeastern Conference Tournament. Today's first game matching the Tigers of LSU against the Wildcats of Kentucky. Welcome back courtside before this first game, LSU and Kentucky. The Wildcats won both meetings in the regular season, and Jordy, it really wasn't even close in those two games, but you have a fitting this one will be a little different. Toss those two aside. The crowd is into it early. I really believe how the officials call the game will be the key. If they call it loose, let them play. It favors LSU. If they call it tight, too much depth for Kentucky, especially on the baseline. 
All right, the winner will advance to the championship game tomorrow afternoon. First game of the semifinals, Kentucky against LSU. We'll have the starting lineups in just a moment. With every Budweiser enjoyed, the promise endures. The promise of genuine quality. Quality you can taste. Clean, crisp, beechwood aged Budweiser. Always certain, always satisfying. Because we know you wouldn't have it any other way. That's why this Bud's for you. In life, power comes in all forms. At Gulf, we make the kind that goes in your car. High octane Gulf Super Gasoline, where the power lives. In a few minutes, this phone is going to ring. The person calling will be a banker with First National approving a loan. So what's the big deal? What's special is that the person who applied for the loan called this number on this same phone not 45 minutes ago. And if that doesn't surprise you, how about this? It's now 2.30 on a Saturday afternoon. If you need a loan, any loan, just pick up the phone. It's not a car. It's not a truck. It's just sheer driving fun. Introducing Kentuckiana's most exciting new dealership, Courtesy Suzuki, and the Courtesy Suzuki Samurai, the hot new 4x4 that took Florida by storm and made Californians quake down to their jams. Courtesy Suzuki Samurais are hardworking wagons, off-road explorers, versatile mini trucks, sunny convertibles, and even woodies, all in one incredible package and priced from just $79.95. That's right, $79.95. On sale now at Courtesy Suzuki, 4021 Shelbyville Road, just two miles west of the Waterson. From Baton Rouge, the semifinals of the Southeastern Conference Tournament. The LSU Tigers, a record of 16 and 12. The Kentucky Wildcats, 23 and 5, and ranked sixth in the nation. Time now for our AC Delco starting lineups. Public address announcer Bob Longmire. The LSU Tigers. At forward, a 6'6 senior from Hempstead, New York, number 30, Bernard Woodside. At forward for Kentucky, a 6'6 freshman from Macon, Georgia, number 23, Eric Manuel. At forward for LSU, a 6'7 junior from Miami, Florida, number 33, Ricky Blanton. At forward for Kentucky, a 6'7 senior from Louisville, number 25, Winston Bennett. At center for the LSU Tigers, a 6'9 senior for the Dominican Republic, number 43, Jose Vargas. At center for the Wildcats, a 6'11 senior from Reedley, California, number 44, Rob Locke. At guard for LSU, a 6'4 senior from Belgrade, Yugoslavia, number 20, Navosha Bukamarovic. At guard for Kentucky, a 6'2 senior from Brooklyn, New York, number 15, Ed Davender. At guard for LSU, a 6'1 senior from Dallas, Texas, number 12, Daryl Joe. And at guard for Kentucky, a 6'4 sophomore from Owensboro, Kentucky, number 3, Rex Chapman. Head coach of the LSU Tigers, Dale Brown. Head coach of the Kentucky Wildcats, Eddie Sutton. And there you have a look at our AC Delco starting lineups for today's game. Remember, for automotive parts that don't just fit but match, look for AC Delco. In the regular season, Kentucky won both meetings. The winner of this one goes to the championship game. We'll have the opening tip in a moment. A commitment to quality, a philosophy of design leadership, a dedication to continuous improvement. According to Road and Track, it adds up to Ford Taurus, the best sedan value in the world. Winning the world over.
information quickly and accurately is more than just important. It can be vital. That's why South Central Bell is working with hospitals, providing them custom-designed communication services, allowing them fast, accurate access to medical records and data, creating a unique network of people and technology. For the right answers to your communications needs, there's one name you need to remember. South Central Bell. Call on us. To make a superior biscuit, Hardee's relies on advanced technology, like our automatic buttermilk processor, heavy equipment, meticulously formulated components. At Hardee's, our biscuits are made totally from scratch by the most complex piece of machinery known. Hardee's Rise and Shine Biscuits. Get them with eggs, hash rounds, and sausage hammer bacon in our big country platter. It's the least we can do to win you over. LSU and Kentucky ready to tip it off at the Assembly Center in Baton Rouge in the first semifinal contest of the SEC tournament. Three good officials to call it, Don Shea, Don Rutledge, and Wally Tanner, left to right. Starting matchups again. Blanton, Vargas, Joe, Bukamirovich, and Woodside for LSU. Kentucky, Manuel, Bennett, Locke, Davender, and Chapman. And even though LSU is playing on its home court, Kentucky, as the higher-seeded team, wears the home white uniform, and LSU in the road purple. Jose Vargas will jump it against Rob Locke, and that could be a key matchup in our game today. Vargas and has to stay in for 40 minutes. Locke controls the tap, and Kentucky opens up on offense. Let's do in a matchup zone. 2-3. Like two fighters feeling each other out in the opening moments of a heavyweight championship bout. Kentucky taking a look at that defense, and finally Davender fires over it. No good. Locke and Vargas come down together, and on the alternate possession, it'll go to LSU. Kentucky will play man-to-man. -man. They want to force an up-tempo game and get their guards in it early. Woodside being guarded by Winston Bennett. Daryl Joe outside shot won't go. So the two teams missing on long-range shots on their first possession and were scoreless through the first 45 seconds. Rick Manuel had goose saves yesterday. No points. He's still starting. Bennett can't hit one. Locke off the offensive board, misses in close. Bennett went in and was struggling with Locke for it, his own teammate, and they'll call walking. That'll turn it over to LSU. LSU small inside. They start Nabosu Bukamirovic at guard. Wayne Sims on the bench. They'll come in with Sims quickly because they need board strength. Locke goes up inside position. Vargas is the key. He keeps his feet, doesn't reach and try and block the shot to commit the early foul. Scoreless game, LSU with the ball in front court. Vargas inside. Davender came back to help on him, then goes back to pick up Joe. Cross court, Daryl Joe open for three. He has his ups, he has his downs. This tournament, he's been on fire. He's been shooting over 50% the last 10 games after a slow start. He's still only 42% for the year. Winston Bennett in close, pounds it down for Kentucky's first two. LSU's really a better defensive team when they pick up man-to-man. -man. That time in the zone, they fell asleep, and Bennett found the scene for the easy two. Ricky Blanton shoots over Manuel. Won't go, and a rebound all to the white shirts. Bennett pulls it down. Kicked by Woodside, back to Kentucky with a fresh 45 seconds. Chapman will put it in play. Lobs it in to Manuel. And the Wildcats set it up, trailing by a point. Chapman for three, bullseye. Chapman broke a bone in his back against LSU. 
The game played in Lexington on February 24th, and really since he's come back to action playing with that broken bone, he's had his best games of the season. Really shooting well from outside. Luka Mirovic is fouled as he moves to the basket. And that's the first foul of the game. Penetration has Chapman leaning one way, beats him with the crossover dribble, splits the seam, the lean in by Locke with the hip. Locke has the first foul of the game so far. And LSU again sets it up. Inside Vargas, jump hook, yes, on the second bounce. See, Ole Miss had no inside game against Kentucky. Vargas can score. He's had big games this year. He's a force inside. And we're tied at five. We played almost three minutes. These two teams really at the top of their game. Both of them playing exceptionally well. Manuel inside. Winston Bennett. Lock. Put it in. Well, Kentucky getting in easy inside shots to start the ball game. It's been the Kentucky inside game with the exception of the Chaplin three-pointer. Walking call against Bukamirovic as Chapman pressured him defensively. Dale Brown didn't like it. Well, he'll be animated today. This is do or die. They don't have an NCAA bid locked up. Here comes the pass. It's a good call. And there's the assistant coaches for Kentucky helping the officials. Strange to look over and see LSU on the visitor's bench. <laughs> really is. Manual. No good. Blanton with a strong rebound. Quick out to Joe. Here's the Tiger break. Joe pulls up. Jumper. Yes. <laughs> LSU, when they're in Baton Rouge, really looks to run. And Joe is shooting well. Got a good bounce on that one to tie it at seven. Mm, how'd you do that? Mm, yes. Lavender <laughs> <laughs> penetrates and is tripped by Daryl Joe. That's the first LSU foul. I've said it so many times, but he's the best in the Southeastern Conference at taking the ball from up top to the basket. Splits the seam, the good crossover dribble, the trip with the left foot and knee, good call. And we'll take a timeout with 16.06 left in the first half. And so far, we're deadlocked. I don't know about you, but it seems to me I'm not doing business with real people anymore. I get mail addressed to Mr. Current Occupant. I order a hamburger by talking into the mouth of a plastic clown. Even my insurance agent's a toll-free number somewhere, I don't know where. Whatever happened to personal service? Sometimes, just for fun, I let my gas gauge get real low just so my car will talk to me. I mean, is there anybody out there? Jefferson Pilot Insurance and Financial Services. Hey, let's get something to drink. Let's forget about it. No, 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 come on, it's no problem. So, how do we get back in? Hey. Okay, come on, let's go. You got the keys? This is not a problem. In nature, power comes in all forms. At Gulf, we make the kind that goes in your car. High octane Gulf Super Gasoline, where the power lives. Tom Hammond, Jordy Holtberg, courtside at the Assembly Center in Baton Rouge, semifinal round of the SEC tournament. And we played almost four minutes and haven't separated the two. LSU has hit three of its first five shots, Kentucky three of seven. Well, there you see the field goal shooting. A packed house, and a lot of Kentucky fans, and of course a lot of LSU fans. Kentucky, they follow them everywhere. First game here in Baton Rouge, Kentucky won it by 15, 76-61. And then in Lexington in February, it was 95-69, Kentucky. Chapman will throw it in from beneath the Wildcat goal. Now LSU bigger inside with Sims. They move Woodside up to the guard spot. So this is really their best five on the floor. Wayne Sims has replaced Buka Miravich, number 44 in purple. 6'7 freshman from DeRitter, Louisiana, who averages nine points a game. 
member of the All-SEC freshman team. Manuel, another All-SEC freshman, can't hit it. Rebound to LSU. Here's Woodside. Oh, yeah. Double dribble. Woodside mishandling the ball on the break. And it'll go back to the Wildcats. For a golden opportunity, a three-on-two break. Hello, you got to put it on the floor before you hop. Good call. A little late whistle, but still in all a good call. Still a 7-7 tie. Chapman for three. Too long. Manuel rebounds and scores. He's fouled also. First points in two games for the All-SEC freshman team member, Eric Manuel. The name of the game is go to the basketball. And there's Manuel. Doesn't bring it down. Strong. They'll lean in. Two plus the one-shot opportunity. And there it is again. Nice play by the freshman. You see, he hasn't been shooting well from outside, so if you don't hit from out, go inside with it. Wayne Sims committing the LSU foul, his first and the second on the Tigers, as Manuel converts the three-point play. After a made free throw, Kentucky with 1-2-1-1 one, one, one zone press, trying trap along the corners. Kentucky has its biggest lead at three. Blanton, nice feed to Vargas. Oh. Oh. Jose Vargas gave a little fake, got Manuel out of the way, and then jammed it for his fourth point of the game. He's a player that's much more in control of himself. Before, he would have charged and drawn the foul. Now he came to a jump stop, and he can explode down low. We played five minutes in Baton Rouge. Kentucky with the ball up one. Bennett in traffic. Oh, he got it. Strong body. Takes it up with people hanging on him. He can still score. Kentucky back by three. Blanton. First two of the game for Ricky Blanton, who comes off a 30-point performance yesterday against Vanderbilt. Under incredible adversity, he started out very slowly against Vandy, and then he was on fire. What a player. He's the heart and soul of LSU. Davener faked the pass, oh, and hit it off the glass. Was that ever a beautiful play? Rex Chapman with the, the schoolyard, fake the pass, go up. Pretty. Three points again, the margin, Kentucky in front. Both teams really playing well, executing offensively. Woodside. Long shot is no good. Lock tapped it up and then got the carom. That's not Woodside's shot. They want him to pass the ball and penetrate, not to put up the three-pointer. He's a 39% shooter. I'll rest my case. Bennett will go. Vargas with a strong rebound for LSU. Great outlet. Woodside hits Blanton over Chapman. No good. Capped by Sims. LSU really aggressively running down the floor, and Sims, the trailer, did what he was supposed to do. You run down the middle of the floor looking for the rebound. Tigers again close to one, and the crowd now starts to get in it. Dale Brown on his knees, pleading. Davener's open for three, and he got it. Oh, boy. What a zone breaker that is. All five Kentucky starters have scored. The Wildcats up four, their biggest lead. In the zone, you have to give up something, and Davener really hasn't shot the ball that much or that well of late. And now if he hits that, that's trouble. Jose Vargas over Rob Locke. That's the sixth point of the game for Vargas, who is the game's top scorer. He's hit all three of his field goal attempts. He has no fouls, so the zone is effective there, and he's really looking to score. Chapman open for three. <laughs> right down another one. Boy, oh, boy, boy, are they hot. Chapman, three of four for eight points. Kentucky's hit three of five three-point attempts so far in the first half. Darrell Joe can't answer for LSU, and Chapman has the rebound. Try to get it through traffic to Davener, and Joe picked it off. LSU the other way. Joe against Bennett puts it up. No good, and a foul on Winston Bennett of Kentucky. Darrell Joe, the leader in steals, came up with the steal. Strong to the basket. Bennett with the blocking foul. 
Joe under control, splits the seam, and there it is. The defense was still moving. Joe under control. He'll be at the line. Winston Bennett with his first foul, second Darryl against the Joe Wildcats. Harold Joe will shoot two. He's a 72% free throw shooter. That one no good. Kentucky gets Laron Ellis and Cedric Jenkins into the game. Remember that now. They've already come in with two extra players. LSU has not substituted except for Sims. Kentucky more depth. Darrell Joe hits one of two at the line. Six points in the game. Pulling LSU within four as we take a timeout. How to shave a giant. Avoid big trouble. Use the Gillette Good News Plus Disposable. It's got the Lubra Smooth Strip. So the comfortable shave for a giant is... This little guy. Good News Plus from Gillette. These days you gotta stay on top of things because times have changed. This small pickup, the Ford Ranger, now outsells Toyota. And what's more, Ranger has more features and a lower sticker price than Toyota. Features like tachometer, interval wipers, and light group. Plus, Ranger's got a fuel-injected engine. And to top it off, Ranger has a six-year, 60,000-mile powertrain warranty. Toyota doesn't. Sorry to burst your bubble, Toyota. But Ranger's on top now. You get more in a Ford Ranger. Built fun tough. Let's say you need a loan. You take off work and go to the bank. And you put down your life history on a bunch of forms. Then you wait. Well, not at First National. Now you can call in your loan request 8 to 8 weekdays and 9 to 4 Saturdays. And we'll get back to you within an hour. If you need a loan, any loan, just pick up the phone. Twelve oh five left in the first half of the semifinal matchup. Kentucky leading LSU by four. We said the pivot play would be important today. Here's Jose Vargas against Rob Locke. Aggressively posting up, calling for the basketball. The quick move to the basket. And the nice, unstoppable jump hook with the roll. And just to show that he can take it really powerfully to the basket, Blanton will they give the nice dish pass. Now watch how he's under control. The jump stop under control and the finish but Rex Chapman has answered for Kentucky Chapman with a big first half so far oh he spots up so well they look for him. look at the schoolyard play the fake never brought it down off the glass Chapman is the game's leading scorer with eight points you see the patches on the jersey there of Ricky Blanton there are two of them the one you're looking at has a little bit of gray on the black it's in memory of Don Redden the gray part is actually part of the shirt that Don Redden was wearing when he died. It was an LSU shirt. They incorporated a piece of that shirt into the memorial patches on the LSU jerseys. Winston Benham can hit. Sims on the second try gets the rebound. The other LSU patch, of course, is in memory of Pete Meredith. Blanton off the glass, his fourth point. And Pete and Don Redden became such good friends. They're buried side by side here in Baton Rouge. LSU within two, just over 11 and a half minutes left. LSU staying in that zone. Only two team fouls, so it's really worked for them. Davender for three, rimmed out. Slapped out of bounds, last touched by Vargas, I believe. It will go to Kentucky as Dale Brown <laughs> with a quizzical look. The announcers for this game selected and compensated by Jefferson Pilot Tunnel Productions. This broadcast a copyright presentation and a use of the broadcast without the express permission of the Southeastern Conference and Jefferson Pilot is prohibited. Chapman. Missed that one. Rebounded though by Bennett then knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Blanton. Kentucky so effective on the glass. LSU's got to put a body on someone. It's very difficult in a zone defensive structure because you don't have a man, you have an area, but they've got to really pinch and go to the boards. Ducky leads it by two with 11 minutes remaining in the first half. The SEC semifinals in Baton Rouge. Jenkins travels. Jenkins came into the game a minute or so ago, a 6'9 senior from Dawson, Georgia, averages four a game, and Leron Ellis, 6'11 freshman from Teston, California, also hits for four a game. There's two subs for the Wildcats. Out of bounds, Bennett hit it last. 
Ricky Blanton. What a game he had against Vandy. Member of the coaches all SEC team and 10th leading scorer in the conference, third leading rebounder. Sims open for a moment, but picked up by the taller Ellis. Now he puts the jump oh, up and he got it. Beauty over the 6'11 Ellis with the fadeaway. And a five-point run by LSU has tied it at 20. If you're LSU, you must favor Chapman's side. Davender tapped in oh. by Bennett. Big time tap. Wow, he was up. What control. Kentucky breaks the tie at the midway point of the first half. Woodside. Bernard Woodside with his first basket of the game, and that'll knot it up again at 22. Woodside not known for his shooting ability. Chapman was all over him, and he still knocked it down. Fifth tie of the game as Chapman lets it fly no good, but a foul. Foul is on Daryl Joe, number two on Joe. Three on LSU. Was this basket interference on the tap by Bennett? Looks like it was away from the cylinder to me, so I think it was a good uh, no call. I agree. LSU bench was uh, asking for the <laughs> offensive goaltending, but it looked like it was out of the cylinder. And about 10,000 or 7,000 fans. Rex Chapman hitting the free throw. As you know, an excellent free throw shooter, 81.7. He's hit two of four three-pointers. That one comes off a strong rebound by Sims, who is hacked by Bennett. Winston Bennett with his second foul. That's number three now on the Wildcats. Oh, it was like Bennett was in a candy store. Sims had the ball out in plain view of, of Bennett's eyes, and he couldn't resist the reach-in. Silly foul. 9.40 left. LSU looks for the lead. Kentucky, 2-3 zone. LSU led briefly in the game, a three-pointer, the first points of the game. This is where Sims is very effective because he can shoot from downtown. So can Blanton. On a rebound, Vargas over the back of Bennett and Jose Vargas with his first foul of the game. Dale Brown doesn't mind that one. Here comes a shot from Blanton who's open. The push going over the back of two. Vargas picks up his first with 9.22 to go in the first half. Tucky with the ball leading by one. Bennett shoots from outside. No good. Rebounded by Vargas. Bennett stole it and laid it in. Bennett very active under the glass. That time he picked the pocket of Vargas and stuck it in the basket. Three-point lead. Well, you better guard that thing with your life. Squeeze it tight. Blanton gives it on the baseline to Sims and takes it back. Around the horn, Joe is open. Three-pointer, yes. Joe on fire, three of five. Total of nine points. We've got ourselves a heck of a ball game. Joe's three-pointer is tied it once again. Sixth tie of the game. Ellis inside. Baseline jumper missed everything. Here's Joe leading the Tiger break. Three on two. Woodside, back to Joe, three-pointer, go! LSU takes a 28-25 lead. And there's Dale Brown clapping his hands, Mr. March. Almost a steal by Joe, Chapman, Joe got it again. Darrell Joe scores! Darrell Joe with five straight points has put LSU up 30 to 25. An eight-point run by the Tigers. And a travel, another turnover. <laughs> defense, defense, LSU on top of its game. Darrell Joe, the man lighting the fire under the Tigers. Boy, he, the place exploded on that one. We got a timeout, 7.43 left in the first half. LSU has sprinted to a five-point lead. 
Is that a tent? Right now, the store is just one big disaster area. The new phone system I got, no one can work it out. All my lines are on hold, the customers can't get through. I'm losing delivery orders hand over fist. But things gotta go. Hello. I'm here in the North Atlantic to announce a new discovery in fish. Crispy fish chunks from Hardee's. Moist, flaky chunks of fish in a special crunchy coating with real breadcrumbs. Sure, they swim a little funny. <laughs> ah, but they taste awfully good. Hardee's Crispy Fish Chunks, a tasty new way we've come up with just to win you over. Behind the heroics of Daryl Joe, the LSU Tigers have sprinted to a five-point lead over Kentucky. Watch him in action here. He slides to the side of the ball. He passed two on the break, hit the three-pointer, and Dale Brown loves it in Baton Rouge. Daryl Joe, 14 points already, and look at him exhorting his team on. Well, Dale Brown is a master of the emotion. He can... Uh, motivate his players and he's using the emotion of the past week uh, in a positive way here and you can feel it in the entire crowd they're really playing with heart and desire kentucky with more overall talent lsu really playing with heart kentucky can ever count them out lsu has the ball leading by five points their biggest lead and the tigers are burning it up at 68 percent while kentucky 43 percent wildcats also have turned it over two more times with Vargas hitting as he has inside, and Joe hitting from outside really puts a lot of pressure on that Kentucky defense. Seven forty-three left in this first half. Kentucky had a five-point lead at one time. Stay with us at halftime. It's tournament time in college basketball, and we'll have the Budweiser scoreboard with tournament action from around the United States. Woodside almost lost it. Here's Joe. He got two more. Davender turned his head. Joe went to the baseline and to the basket. The good pass to the layup. Ten straight points by LSU. With Daryl Joe now with 16 in the first half. There's Davender answering finally for Kentucky. Back to a five-point lead. 32-27 LSU. Seven minutes left in the first half. Blanton. No good. Rebounded by Locke. LSU not really going to the boards offensively, so Kentucky with control of the glass. Lavender slowing it down as the Wildcats set it up. They've got their starting unit back on the floor. Eric Manuel has come back in, so is Locke. Davender shot blocked by Woodside. Davender got it back. Manuel. Double. Double dribble. And it'll go to LSU. Another turnover. Good side against Chapman. Shot away. No good. Batted up. Davender got it to Manuel. Here's a three-on-two break. Manuel for the jam. Well, he actually just laid it in. Picture perfect. And Chapman with the good defense on a bad shot by Woodside. And then no one was back except for one for LSU. The numbers were in Kentucky's favor. They scored. Bob to Vargas for the jam. That's the assist to Joe. And the points to Vargas. Number eight for Jose. Well, Joe's having a career today. Look at him. Offensively doing it all. Scoring and assisting. He's hit seven of nine from the field, one of two at the line, and with his first assist. And another near steal. Bennett on a wing to Chapman. He'll let it go from three-point land and came up with air. Rebounded, however, and put in. Was that Bennett? Yes. Bennett a force on the boards. 34-31, Kentucky cuts the lead to three. 
Joe wide open again. Wow. They just can't leave him alone like that. He's burning them up. Daryl Joe with 18 points in the first half. Woodside with a good screen. Manuel did not step out to help. And Joe is on fire. Winston Bennett in the paint. Rimmed out. Vargas up for the rebound. LSU. Oh. Joe leads the break. Now they'll set it up. Jose Vargas moves on lock. That's an offensive foul on Vargas, number two on Jose. Yeah, Brown looking for the technical foul on the fake charge by Locke. That's what he's trying to get. Vargas doesn't need to put the ball on the floor. He needs to get rid of the basketball and go back to the low post. He's just asking for trouble doing this. Locke was in position to charge. Two fouls on Vargas, the man that Dale Brown cannot afford to lose. 440 left in the first half. Kentucky with the ball down five. Vargas is an emotional player. He better be careful. He'll pick up a third one. Chapman can't hit it. It's on the floor on the long rebound. And there is Mouton. Rolls out. Batted around. And Manuel comes the other way. Three on one. Davender. No good. Sims saves it to Blanton. And LSU's got it. College basketball is great, isn't it? The hustle, the crowd. Davender missed the layup on a three-on-one break. And LSU back to the ball up by five points. Vargas against Jenkins now. It won't go. Chapman battling with Mouton out of bounds to Kentucky. And we'll take a timeout here. A frantic first half. We've got four minutes left. LSU continues to lead. How to shave a giant. Avoid big trouble. Use the Gillette Good News Plus Disposable. It's got the Lubra Smooth Strip. So the comfortable shave for a giant is... This little guy. Good News Plus. From Gillette. My wild Irish rose Where sweet is and some day for my sake she may let me take the blue from my wild Irish rose. On St. Patty's Day, celebrate with the only American beer that's also brewed and bottled in Ireland, Budweiser. Boys. Only Toro offers the two-year starting guarantee. This Toro will start on the first or second pull for two years, or Toro will fix it free. Guarantee. See a full line of Toro equipment and get instant credit at Chainsaw World. 36-31 LSU, and even four minutes left in the first half of play in a hustling first 16 minutes of action. Davender misses the gimme and watch college basketball at its best. The hustle. Sims, the flip to Blanton, the LSU bench up, the crowd up. College basketball is exciting. Kentucky has been able to convert the fast break on occasion in the first, however. Here's one of the successful Wildcat breaks. Manuel will dish it to Chapman with the quick pass back. Joe out of position. Picture perfect. Here's the shooting so far in the first half. LSU continues to shoot very well at 62%. Kentucky only 42% thus far in the first half. In the rebounding department, look at the offensive rebounds for Kentucky, seven of them, although LSU is uh, pulling down 11 defensive rebounds to nine for Kentucky. That's a key stat, those seven offensive boards. Most of them by Bennett, who has scored on several of the putbacks. Don't forget at the conclusion of today's game, we'll be picking a golf most viable player from each team. As Cedric Jenkins misses badly, and the ball's knocked out of bounds. It'll go to LSU. In addition to recognizing our two MVPs, Gulf Oil and its dealers will donate a $1,000 scholarship to the General Scholarship Fund of both Kentucky and LSU as part of the Gulf MVP scholarship program. That shot by Jenkins made the glasses of Eddie Sutton come off. He didn't like that one very much at all. Three and a half minutes to go, first half, LSU by five. The 
Freshman Mouton feeds back to Woodside. Offensive foul, Bernard Woodside tried to bump Bennett out of the way and committed his first. That's number six on LSU. That's that principle of verticality because Bennett held his position. Woodside tried to draw the charge. They gave him an, uh, and gave him an elbow, a short arm, and then jumped into it. Right, so verticality rule. Davender thinks about it, then lets it go. No good. Pushing foul and eight. No, out of bounds. Out of bounds to LSU. Davender hesitated, and when he hesitated, he got himself out of his rhythm. Blanton goes to the hoop, strong in his foul. Eric Manuel's Eric first foul. Manuel, first That's first where four, Ricky Blanton is so effective. He's played every position except point guard for LSU. He's one of those tweeners. He put a guard out of, on him outside. He's too strong for him. He put a big man on him. He drives around him. So he's very effective. A tough mismatch. And he's got a string going 11 straight here in the tournament. Six first-half points for Ricky Blanton. It's 38-31. That's LSU's biggest lead. Manuel wide open. He got it. Manuel was seven in the first half, and that chips the lead back down to five at 38-33. Kyle Mouton, the 6'4 freshman, lets it fly. No good inside Joe and Davender they're gonna call Joe for swinging his elbows and Dale Brown is livid that is three on the star of the game so far Daryl Joe here comes the shot the the hustle for the basketball they're both going for it I don't know about that one I don't know about that one. It's number three on Joe who goes out of the game with 18 first half points. There's Winston Bennett with his 10th of the game. Boy, what a turnaround. Joe on the bench, Vargas on the bench, Kentucky making a run. Bess Irvin has come in to replace Darrell Joe. He's the six foot sophomore from Gonzalez, Louisiana. And already, of course, Mouton came in replacing Vargas. Foul before the shot, and Winston Bennett has his third. So a key Kentucky player now in foul trouble as Bennett gets number three. Well, the officials are starting to call it very closely. Woodside with a good penetration and not much contact, but he was moving, and Bennett picks up a crucial one. Fifteen foul against Kentucky. Box shows two minutes. Boy, Sutton didn't get Bennett out. Give it to Woodside. Let him see if he can pick up a fourth one on Bennett. Mouton. No good on the floor. Bennett's got it and then threw it away. Mouton collides with Jenkins. Before that, he traveled. <laughs> you think Coach Brown liked that uh, call against Daryl Joe? Look at Joe Dean behind him. He didn't like it either. <laughs> 140 left in the first half. Kentucky with the ball down by three. Davender on the wing. Chapman straight away for three. Wow. No good. Irvin has it for LSU. Mouton in front court. Knocked away by Davender, but Mouton saves it. LSU's got to look to get the ball to Ricky Blanton. Woodside long shot is not there. And a reach-in foul, Davender of Kentucky, number one. That's six now against the Wildcats. In a situation like this with Vargas and Joe on the bench, Blanton has to assume total control. They've got to get it to him and let him go to work. 118 to play in the first half. Joe and Vargas on the LSU bench. Vargas has two fouls, Joe three. They look a little out of sync offensively. They really do. We got Woodside playing the point now, and that's something he's not accustomed to. Mouton guarded by Chapman. Blanton. 
Couldn't get the roll. Ellis with a rebound. Ellis, by the way, has replaced Winston Bennett. He picked up his third foul a few moments ago. Davender penetrates. Short on the shot. Scramble on the floor. It's going to be a foul on Ellis of Kentucky. Ellis at 6'11", and Irvin at 6 foot over there, sliding on the floor. The tall of it and the short of it. You call it. All out, leaving nothing in the locker room. And Ellis looks up to see that, yes, he did have the foul whistle on him. Bess Irvin at the free throw line, the player that almost quit this team earlier in the season. Started 14 times for Dale Brown, as you see, an excellent free throw shooter at 85%. A confidence booster there. He would be among the league leaders if he'd had enough free throws to qualify. And a good shot again of the patches in memory of Don Redden on the left and Pete Maravich on the right. Got a good roll and went all the way around and finally through. The shooter's roll, like you used to have. <laughs> Left mine in the brickyard. 40-35, LSU by five. 35 seconds on the clock and counting. They'll hold it for one. No shot clock. And if past history comes into play, they'll look for Chapman to get a shot off in the corner after a low post screen either by Ellis or Jenkins. No five-second count because LSU is not up on them defensively. And now they go into their set with 10 seconds. Chapman, fading shot, won't go. Rebounded by Woodside, lets it fly with three seconds. They had more time than that, too early. But it goes out of bounds, and it's been a good LSU first half. They were down by four points when suddenly Daryl Joe caught fire, and the LSU Tigers sprinted to the lead and never relinquished it. At the end of the first 20 minutes of play, LSU has a five-point advantage on Kentucky. The halftime score, 40 to 35. At halftime, we'll take a look at some of the top freshmen in the Southeastern Conference this past season. Gary Sparber will have the Budweiser scoreboard to bring you up to date on tourney results. And we'll have all the stats and highlights of a very exciting first 20 minutes of play. LSU leading Kentucky 40 to 35 at halftime. Gary Sparta will guide you through intermission right after this. Japanese imports have long had a reputation for giving you more car for your money. But now that's just make-believe. Because Ford Escort, the world's best-selling car, offers the same features as Toyota Tercel, plus air conditioning, power mirrors, and a 660 powertrain warranty, all for less money than Tercel, which makes Ford Escort the real value. National Space Satellite Dish, where for three days in a row, scientists have received messages from deep space. Dr. Gilbert. At precisely 12 noon, we have received the signal. <laughs> and now, as the hour of 12 approaches, we listen for these strange sounds. <laughs> it's no mystery where great refreshment comes from. Pepsi, the choice of a new generation. It figures. I finally get a financial plan all worked out. Then they go and they change the tax laws. Now nothing works. Not my tax shelter, not my IRA. Even my gold card is tarnished. They're treating capital gains like regular income. What's left to deduct? Give me a break. I mean, what's an entrepreneur to do? Jefferson Pilot, Insurance and Financial Services. In life, power comes in all forms. At Go, we make the kind that goes in your car. High-octane Gulf Super Gasoline, where the power lives. 
Welcome back to Baton Rouge. You see our halftime score, LSU 40, Kentucky 35, and I think it would be fair to say that we have a brand new best game of the tournament so far. Outstanding first half for LSU, and especially for number 12, Daryl Joe. The only negative there that Joe picked up his third foul late in the half. We'll see how long he can go in the second half without picking up number four. Well, we're going to take a look at some of the top rookies from the past season in the Southeastern Conference, and for that, let's go to the men who called the action for most of those rookies, Tom Hammond and Jordy Holtberg. Well, Jordy, we did see a lot of exciting freshmen through the Southeastern Conference regular season this year, and we tried to pick some highlights of some of the best players, and what's impressive is some of the players that didn't make it. Carl Nichols, Chancellor Nichols of Mississippi State, Greg Bell of Tennessee, who single-handedly beat both Kentucky and Florida. There are a lot of good freshmen in the SEC, and too many to fit onto a highlight reel, actually. Well, they put the pressure on us. Most of the publications get to choose ten. We only get to choose five, so we're going to hurt some feelings, but we think the five we picked for the whole year really did a great job. Plus, we picked them by position, which makes exactly. it a little more difficult. Not the five best, but we picked them by position, guard, forward, and center. So let's take a look now at our Jefferson Pilot SEC Rookie Review for the past season. I'm afraid Jimmy Stuckerheim's under pressure... And one forward on our all-rookie team is LSU's Wayne Sims, who became a starter in the Tigers' 16th game of the season and averaged nine points and four rebounds a contest. With a soft, high-arching jump shot, Sims scored in double figures 12 of the last 13 games, including a 25-point, 12-rebound performance. And as Tom and Jordy told you, those just some of the outstanding freshmen. There were others, the Nichols at Mississippi State and others as well in the SEC. There's our halftime score, and we'll be back with more from Baton Rouge after this for your local SEC stations. We wanted to compare our Savin 7065 to a Xerox 1065 to show that theirs takes almost twice as long to give you your first copy and that they have only two reduction modes and one enlargement instead of four and three and that only the Savin automatically copies both sides of an original <laughs> we really did want to show you these differences between our Savin 7065 and a Xerox 1065 but we couldn't afford one for all your copier needs just whistle duplicator sales and service at Hot Springs Auto Wash, I'm washing more cars than anyone else in Louisville, and for good reason. Our $2 million German-designed car washes are touchless. Touchless means we use hot, soapy water under pressure. No brushes, no scratching of paint. Visit Hot Springs Auto Wash on Preston Highway next to Montgomery Chevrolet, or try our new Hot Springs on Dixie Highway, just south of Watterson Expressway. Try us, just once. 
You'll never want to wash your car yourself again. We want to see your eyes when you see our shrimp. At Long John Silver's, we want to see you sink your teeth into our big, juicy butterfly shrimp. And right now, you can get these golden beauties in four great meals for only $3.99 each. Like our six-piece shrimp dinner and our shrimp and fish dinner. You see, we want to make sure we're going to see you back. Shrimp meals, $3.99 each. We want to see you happy. Wave 3 News at 6 o'clock is now 30 minutes long. We want you to know why. Several years ago, an hour of local news was a good idea. But your letters, our research, and yes, the ratings, have told us that most people today don't have an hour for local news. Now, some will say we can't give you quality news coverage in half the time. We say, watch us. Wave 3 News with Don Schroeder and Jackie Hayes. Now 30 minutes at 6 and 11 o'clock. The new choice. This is Wave 3 Louisville. Over Kentucky in our first semifinal of the afternoon. And now it's time for the Budweiser scoreboard. Brought to you by Budweiser. Proud sponsor of the 1988 U.S. Olympic team. This Bud's for you. Just a couple of scores to pass along to you in the ACC. This one uh, not quite decided as of yet. North Carolina and Maryland in the very early going tied at four. And we'll also tell you that Florida State has an 8-6 to six lead. Are we reaching or what? 8-6 to six over South Carolina early in the Metro conference of course there will be a lot more going on this afternoon lsu leads kentucky here 40 to 35 and we'll be back to talk to a couple of the coaches involved in our second game here today in baton rouge after this this exclusive live coverage of southeastern conference tournament basketball on the jefferson pilot teleproductions network is being brought to you by the jefferson pilot companies for insurance and financial services, better call JP. By Budweiser, proud sponsor of the 1988 U.S. Olympic team. This Bud's for you. By Ford and your Ford dealer. Have you driven a Ford lately? By AT&T, the right choice. And by Gulf Oil. You go or Gulf pays the tow. How to shave a giant. Avoid big trouble. Use the Gillette Good News Plus Disposable. It's got the Lubra Smooth Strip. So the comfortable shave for a giant is... This little guy. Good News Plus from Gillette. Old soldiers never die. But neglected batteries do. That's why I feel better with a Delco battery under the hood. Seal tight, maintenance free. With plenty of startup power to handle cold mountain weekends. Precision AC Delco parts. They don't just fit, they match. We old soldiers spend our time on live trout, not dead batteries. For the AC Delco retailer nearest you, just give me a call at 1 800 AC Delco. This is a change, this is new. Howard Johnson, can this be you? This is Howard Johnson today. This is how it jumps in today. This is how it jumps in today. Changing in so many colorful, comfortable, welcoming ways. This is how it jumps in today. This is how it jumps in today. Welcome back to Baton Rouge. We've got a couple of the coaches who are going to be involved in our second ball game today. The first game has LSU up by five over Kentucky at halftime. We have Larry Gay from Georgia, Monty Chow from Florida. Larry, very simply, the Gators have an awful lot of talent. What are the keys to Georgia being able to pull the win this afternoon? Oh, well, first of all, I think the transition game is probably the big factor for us to stop. Uh, Florida has 
very outstanding guards, and, and, and I think the key for us is to stop their transition, not to let them get a lot of easy baskets. And of course, rebounding. They're awful big inside, and we must block off uh, in order to have a chance to win this afternoon. Coach, whatever happens, good luck to you uh, and your chances to get an NCAA tournament bid. Thank you very much. Monty Chow from Florida. Which Dwayne Shinsis is it going to be, the one from the first half last night or the one from the second half? And what do you and the coaching staff have to do to get him to play the way you want him to? Well, I think hopefully for us it'll be Dwayne Shinsis of the second half. Dwayne has had a lot of tremendous games for us this year. He's had a tendency to get down on himself, but I thought it was a great achievement on his part to have such a bad start yesterday and then come back and play so well down the stretch in the second half when we really needed him. And hopefully he'll play that way the rest of the year in every game that we play. Monty, good luck to you against the Bulldogs. Thank you very much. Monty Tao from the University of Florida. That's a good one coming up later on, but we've got a great one going right now. LSU and Kentucky, and we'll be back with more at Baton Rouge after we take this break. Both of us work, and we live pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But if I suddenly checked out, I still want Helen to live good. Thanks a lot. No, 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 no. I mean, like, uh, keep the house. Oh. Get the kids through school. Maybe right. take a vacation once in a while. Great. What happens to you if I check out first? Well, now, you had a cousin who lived to be 104. She was adopted. Jefferson Pilot Insurance and Financial Services. Sales are great, but they're all local. We've got to get into new markets. We can't afford to expand, Dave. All you can say to me is no. I can't pull new customers out of a hat. Ben, that's your job. If you're thinking of buying an inexpensive car, there's one automaker that believes you shouldn't have to compromise on quality or choice. You see, at Subaru, we have an entire line of cars under $10,000. Like our DL Wagon, XT, three-door coupe, sedan, or the Justy, which is priced at a remarkable $56.66. So thanks to Subaru, even if your budget is limited, your choice of cars isn't. Subaru, we build our reputation by building a better car. Visit your Subaru dealer today. When the days are long, but the work is longer, you need a power tool that will make short work out of the biggest job. You need a horse, a wheel horse lawn or garden tractor. Mowing, tilling, blowing, or hauling, your wheel horse has the power to get the job done. Use your power charge at Chainsaw World, with payments starting as low as $50 per month, and no payments till June. Wheel horse, power to work for you. Halftime at Baton Rouge, LSU with a five-point lead over Kentucky, and we have got some of the best drama of this entire tournament coming up in the next 20 minutes of game action, so let's send it back to our game announcers, Tom Hammond and Jordy Holtberg. All right, Gary, and Jordy, to me, the first half was very simple. In fact, three words, Joe, Daryl Joe of LSU. Boy, what, a 18 points in 18 minutes, a point a minute, also getting the job done defensively with steals, assists, an incredible first half, although he picked up his third foul, but I think he's smart enough to realize they need him in the ball game. Vargas has stayed in it. LSU must try and block Kentucky off the boards because, especially on the offensive glass, Kentucky, a lot of putbacks. Any change in strategy to try to protect Darrell Joe with three fouls and Jose Vargas with two, he's very prone to picking up quick fouls, as we know. I think Kentucky hasn't shot that well in the first half, so I think LSU will stay in that 2-3 zone until they really start to get on fire. Then we'll see F down the road. LSU with a five-point lead here at halftime. Let's take a look at how they did it as we check out the first half stats. LSU shooting exceptionally well, 53%, the home rims. Kentucky at 39%, free throws the same, 83 to 67. So LSU getting the job done offensively. Three-point goals, 50% for LSU. The boards almost even, turnovers the same, and points basically the same. Well played first half. 
Here's a look at the uh, scoring totals individually in the first half of play. LSU a Daryl Joe who averages 11 a game, pitching in 18 in the first 20 minutes. And, of course, one of the key factors of the game could be his foul trouble. He had three fouls. Kentucky side of the ledger shows one player in double figures, Winston Bennett with 10. He also picked up three fouls in the first half. Rex Chapman with nine and Eric Manuel with seven. Manuel, also the game's leading rebounder with five rebounds in the first half. Well, Daryl Joe is the man, and here's a look at Daryl in action in that first half. Driving baseline, using the rim as a shield against Lock, opposite off the window. Jose Vargas had eight points in the first half and showed us some good inside play at times. Silent communication between the point guard and the big man. Lock had his head down. Vargas got the alley-oop, the high percentage shot. Kentucky had uh, a couple of fast break opportunities. This one they converted with Eric Manuel from Chapman. Fiction catch back to Manuel for the layup. And the second half ready to get underway. 20 minutes to decide one of the teams in the championship game of the Southeastern Conference Tournament here tomorrow afternoon. Kentucky's ball to open play and the Wildcats have Chapman, Bennett, Davender, Manuel. And Locke, their original starting five. And Eric Manuel wastes no time in collecting his ninth point of the game. Well, he split the scene between the guard and the low post men. No one challenged him. He took up one dribble slack and fired away. Woodside, Joe, Vargas, Sims, and Blanton for LSU. This is Sims who answers for the Tigers. Well, Sims didn't do it defensively, so he made up for it on the offensive end. Two teams trade buckets on their first possessions of the second half, a five-point LSU lead. Kentucky wants to challenge in the middle to see if Vargas is gonna play tentatively or aggressively. They're leaving Manuel wide open, so he gets his second field goal of the second half. So now LSU has to adjust. They're gonna have to send the guard down to pick up Manuel because he's in that neutral zone between the low men and the guard play. LSU by three. We played a minute of the second half. Steal by Manuel. He'll take it all the way. Got it. On the jam, he scored six points here in the second half. My goodness. Joe the first half, Manuel the second. What a show. And Kentucky closes to within one. See, you heard that we picked him on our all-rookie team, so he's living up to his billing. There's Blanton getting away from the defense to lay it in. Ricky Blanton of LSU. That's number eight. LSU reclaims a three-point lead. See, they sing Joe to Chase now. Underneath, Bennett. Baseline jumper is short. Bennett got it back, goes up, can't score. Blanton with a rebound. Joe in front court. Kentucky's guards are back on defense. Move. Lock blocked it. Here's a quick outlet. Manuel on a run out. Give Locke the credit for the block as Dale Brown says, don't panic. <laughs> Blocked by Locke, and they call this in the streets, snowbirding. Manuel all the way down for the easy jam. And once again, Kentucky within a point. Kentucky staying man-to-man. -man. Blanton got away from Manuel, collided with Locke, but Manuel called for reaching in. As Blanton went around, Eric Manuel, who has scored all eight Kentucky points in this half, has his second foul. Blanton deceptively quick. Fake. Drive baseline. The reach in right there. I believe it would have been a charge, too, if they hadn't called it on Manuel because he collided with Locke. But Blanton really quick with the dribble. Sims a quick shot. No good. Vargas way up for the rebound. His follow good. Wow. What a play. Went up strong, Tom. 46-43, LSU back in front by three, 17-30 left in the game. And the pressure is mounting. Locke and Sims battling for position, and Wayne Sims called for his second personal foul, the first on LSU this half. That's a silly foul because Sims did a good job of forcing Locke away from the basket, but then he's got to just concede that position. Locke, far away, there's the push-off, good call. He's got to get away, play away from him, especially when he's away from the low block area. Kentucky down by three points with the basketball. Locke is posting up on Vargas. They had it, but he didn't get it to him. 
Bennett, double team. What a move by Winston Bennett. That is as good a move as you'll see all year inside, and he'll have a chance to convert a three-point play. This is what makes Kentucky so tough. Manuel and Chapman on the wings really opens the defense, and Bennett, acrobatics in the air. Pretty. Second foul on Bernard Woodside, and Winston Bennett at the free throw line with a chance to tie the game. You know, with those type of shooters on the wing, you tell me, who do you give up and who do you guard? You, know, you have to guard both of those wings, and Bennett effectively working inside. Bennett, the graduate student now, after sitting out last year, made the coaches All-SEC team, and the game tied for the seventh time. Daryl Joe against Davender. Davender stripped it away, and let them travel. That'll go back to LSU. <laughs> Dale Brown was right there calling it, had his hands going back and forth. Davender really quick. Lyle Mouton back in for LSU. The nice steal right there, picked his pocket, but they're a little excited. Watch Dale Brown stomping. Oh, he saw his foot getting ready to stomp on the ground. Mouton, 6'4", freshman from Lafayette, back in for the Tigers. Vargas jump hook no good. Manuel lost the rebound though and Blanton pops it through. Blanton with a look what I found. The gimme. Ricky Blanton in double figures for the 24th game this season. And LSU back in front. This is what semifinal basketball is all about. Back and forth, nip and tuck. It's been a good game. Bennett. Skips it cross court. Davender then hits Bennett in the paint. It'll go, and another chance at a three-point play. Big time play. You called it the skip pass, and they're really trying to take it inside to Vargas, who picks up his third foul, and Bennett really going to work. Bennett strong. Look how strong he is, and look at the concentration, the follow through his eyes, never off the target. It's answered. Number three on Jose Vargas. And Winston Bennett at the free throw line. He had a three-point play a moment ago. If he hits this free throw, it'll put Kentucky in front. So they can ill afford to take Vargas out because they have no size off the bench. That does it. 16 points for Winston Bennett. The free throw puts Kentucky in front, 49-48. Clock ticking down to the 16-minute mark. Here's Vargas. Double team. Fakes, can't shoot. Woodside to Blanton. Ricky Blanton. The key to being an offensive player is moving without the basketball. Blanton does it with the best of them. Lead changes for the fifth time in the game. LSU seesaws back on top by one. Manuel to Chapman. Beautiful. Eric Manuel went up for the shot. Everyone started to crash the board. He spotted Chapman wide open for the easy one. Woodside. No good. Locke can't handle it. Out of bounds to LSU. Smart coaching move by Eddie Sutton. They put Bennett on Woodside. Woodside not a great score. We've played about four and a half minutes of the second half. As good a basketball as you'll ever see. Kentucky by one. Of all the cars that come out each year, only one can be the Motor Trend Car of the Year. For 1988, that one is this one. The hot new Pontiac Grand Prix. Get on your Pontiac and ride! Pontiac ride! The new Grand Prix, Motor Trend's Car of the Year. You've got to drive it. Get on your Pontiac! Rebuild excitement! Education is more than just books on a shelf. Today, colleges and universities require faster, more economical handling of information. South Central Bell is finding new ways of applying communications technology to their specific needs, creating a unique network of people and technology, expanding the scope of the classroom without expanding the classroom itself. When it comes to communications, we wrote the book. South Central Bell. Call on us. To make a superior biscuit, Hardee's relies on advanced technology, like our automatic buttermilk processor, heavy equipment, 
meticulously formulated components. At Hardy's, our biscuits are made totally from scratch by the most complex piece of machinery known. Hardy's Rise and Shine Biscuits. Get them with steaming hot sausage gravy in our biscuit and gravy platter. It's the least we can do to win you over. Kentucky has come from five down at halftime to take a one-point lead, 51-50 over LSU. In the first half, it was Daryl Joe. In the second half, it's been Eric Manuel. Played the passing lane, the steal. Shows his ball handling and jumping ability. And then, just to top it off, I can pass also. Defense watches the ball. Chapman fills into the open spot. Boy, that's textbook. And the acknowledgement. And in this half, Kentucky has improved its shooting dramatically. The Wildcats 78% this half after a 39% opening half. LSU shot well in both halves. Well, they're rising to the occasion. Great basketball action. LSU has the ball in front court. Kentucky leads 51-50. See, they put Bennett on Woodside. He's not much of a threat. Bennett with three fouls. They need him in the ballgame. There's Steps call on Mouton. He was wide open, and he thought about shooting. and said, he said, well, I can dribble a little closer, and that indecision cost him a step and a traveling call. What's that statement? He who hesitates, he's lost. Mouton was lost that time. Kentucky leading by one with the basketball. There's Manuel again. This one won't go. And Rob Locke crashing the boards, I believe, is going to be called for his second foul. Boy, Kentucky sent three hard to the glass. Blank a little weary. Watch him go to the boards. Manuel trying to take control, and they just pound the glass. Bennett, Locke, Manuel. Blanton on the ground, and then the trip. Blanton played all 40 minutes against Vanderbilt yesterday. Joe has it stripped away, and then it came right back to him. For the layup. Two great defensive players. Davender with the first steal. Joe got it right back on the second steal and put it in the basket. And LSU's back in front. If you Kentucky, you want to get it inside. Challenge Mr. Vargas. Inside to lock. Vargas blocked it. Here's Woodside. Chancy. Chapman knocks it away to Blanton. He puts it up. No good. Vargas has the rebound. His shot is good. Boy, Vargas really took a chance down low, but he came up with the block. LSU picking up the loose balls. Vargas has 12, and LSU now up by three, 54-51. And it in the paint. Oh, just great basketball. High low, locked up top, big target, throws it down low to Bennett, and Vargas has to stay on the ground because they need him in the ball game. Bennett has 18, Kentucky within one. Woodside, they left him alone. And Bennett, he also realizes he has to stay in the game. All you heard him say was, help, help. The help wasn't there, and Woodside for two. Three-point lead for the Tigers of LSU. Bob Locke, 15 feet away. Flashes to Chapman for three. Bingo. Tom, anytime you can attack a zone from the middle, the zone has to collapse and pinks toward the bucket. He throws it out to the wing, and they've got great wing shooters in Chapman and Manuel. Game tied for the ninth time. Chapman almost had a steal on Mouton. Here's a collision. Mouton and Locke. It'll be on Locke, number three. Credit to Mouton on this one because he really moved his body away from the defense and made it look like Locke was moving. And Eric Manuel comes up hobbling a little bit. And he's yep. looking for the replay. <laughs> Mouton, watch his body control as he slithers away. Makes it look like Locke is moving when in reality he wasn't. So the offensive fake drew the... Drew the foul. You know, when I looked at it live, I thought Locke was moving, but on the replay, it looks like he was set. He was set. But boy, it's such a quick game. It's such a tough game to call. I left on Mouton. <laughs> First point of the game for Mouton. You say I'm on the officials all the time. I complimented him. 
Here's the Louisiana Mr. Basketball of a year ago, hitting two free throws to make it 58-56 LSU. Not too many people getting comfortable in their seats. They're all squirming around. Cedric Jenkins into the Kentucky lineup, replacing Locke, who sits down with three fouls. Well, Jenkins isn't a good passer as Locke is, so they're going to put Bennett high this time. There's Winston Bennett. Uh-oh. That could be a goaltending could call. Be. Could be, and Eddie Sutton really wants it. He's calling. Yes. Neil Brown didn't agree, but it looked like a goaltending, and it was correctly called, I believe. Our camera crew right on top of it. Bennett coming down, down. Coming no down. question. Coming down. Good call by the officials, Dale. <laughs> and Vargas. Has a coach ever complimented an official? <laughs> Rare occasions. <laughs> Luton was whistled for the foul, his first foul. And four against the Tigers in this half as Winston Bennett, for the third time in the second half, a chance to convert a three-point play. He got the roll. 21 points. Dale Brown goes, are you kidding? This is at home. I won't repeat. He didn't like it. 59-58. Kentucky bounces back in front. Vargas against Jenkins. Feeds it back outside to a wide-open Woodside. Off the top of the rim, off the backboard, and out of bounds to Kentucky. You see, in that situation, they throw the ball down to Vargas with the double team. They ought to put Blanton on the same side because he's the best outside shooter. Woodside is not a good shooter. Jenkins back outside. Davender, Chapman. Working the ball at a faster pace now. Chapman ready for the shot. He was right there waiting, licking his chops. Give Davender the credit. He split the zone. They had to pinch. Chapman spotted up. Davender the assist. 16 points for Rex Chapman. Kentucky in front by four, equaling their biggest lead. Big possession. Blanton won't go. Chapman had the rebound, fouled by Mouton. Second foul, Lyle Mouton. Five against the Tigers. Kentucky has committed three this half. Fast and furious action in the semifinal round of the SEC tournament from Baton Rouge. Timeout, 11.43 left. How to shave a giant. Avoid big trouble. Use the Gillette Good News Plus Disposable. It's got the Lubra Smooth Strip. So the comfortable shave for a giant is... This little guy. Good News Plus from Gillette. This bug's for all that you do. Papers say you busted it up pretty good. This is where we start. You got Come on, on road road back. You missed the Stop. cheers. Stop. Can you beat on, those man. doubts Whoa. and fears? You make a Well, that's something that won't let us quit. The clean, crisp taste of Beechwood aged Budweiser. To your first game back. This bug's for you. Okay, so you go into the store to pick up a gift or something. And when you go through the cashier line, you get all kinds of hassles about writing a check. Well, you're looking at a new kind of check that works like a charm every time. The First Card Plus from First National is like a credit card, except the payment comes directly from your checking account. It's that simple. First Card Plus from First National. Writing a check is just that easy. Kentucky Wildcats down by five at intermission have come storming back to take a four-point lead. Watch Davender penetrate. Chapman spots up, knows where he is, the train. And the crowd on hand, the faithful blue and white supporters. They follow them to the ends of the earth. They go everywhere. They were the ones outside when teams would lose. They'd buy their tickets up. Lickety split. Wow, 73% and LSU's not chopped liver. 53% so both teams really on top of their game. One of, the, uh, one of the key, as you see the three-pointers, One of the, and they were bad at that at halftime. Mm -hmm. They've gotten uh, much better in that department in the second half. One of the keys to Kentucky's success, the drive to the championship in the regular season, is the fact that they shot very well from the field down the stretch. 
62-58, four-point Wildcat lead. Defense has really spread. The, the free throw line down to the dotted line is wide open. Chapman is wide open. <laughs> boy, oh boy, what a shooter. Nine-point run for the Kentucky Wildcats has carried them to a 65-58 lead, their biggest advantage. Well, a big possession here. Manuel with a foul as he went for the steal on Blanton. Eric Manuel has his third. And Kentucky's starting front line of Bennett, Manuel, and Locke with three fouls each. There's the reach in. Barely. <laughs> and the dance. The hop. War dance. Look at that. Looking up to the heavens. For Kentucky, team foul number four in the second half. So on the common foul, LSU puts it in play. Just over 11 minutes left in this semifinal matchup. Vargas. Chapman comes to help. Vargas hits it, and he's fouled. Boy, what a spin move to the lane and under control. Watch this. Boy, they really worked hard to get him the basketball. Too strong for Jenkins. No contest. The spin, the head and shoulder fake, the concentration. Chance for three. Look at that. Under control. Vargas a year ago would have drawn an offensive charge. First foul on Cedric Jenkins. So Jose Vargas, the 24-year-old native of the Dominican Republic, misses the shot, but Sims puts it home and a four-point trip for LSU. Boy, things can turn quickly. Can LSU back in it? 65-62, the Kentucky lead after a four-point trip down court by the Tigers. Triangle and two, guarding Chapman man-to-man -man and Bennett man-to-man. -man. Avender was open. It rimmed out. Blanton has the rebound. One of the freak defenses. Joe fires a three. He got it. Boy, he was quiet the first part of the second half. That woke him up. Now watch the defense. Blanton up top. Sims and Vargas in the zone. Woodside on Bennett, Joe on Chapman. Game tied for the 10th time. <laughs> Miss Kentucky's had to work some time off the clock to get organized. Manual from 15, good. And that shot will be open all night against that gimmick defense. And they've got so many good shooters, it's tough to defend it. Kentucky back in front by two. Manuel, who didn't score last night, has 17 here. Boy, he answered the wake-up call today. <laughs> Joe for three. Way off the mark on that one, and Manuel has the rebound. Rushed it. Manuel with six rebounds to go along with his 17 points. And Kentucky with the ball leading by two. See, in this situation, Blanton has to decide, is he going to guard Davender or Manuel? He has to choose one or the other. Manuel, not hesitant about putting it up. That one no good, and nothing but purple jerseys in there for the rebound. Here's Blanton. He pulls up with the jumper. It's no good. Rebounded by Winston Bennett of Kentucky. Or Hartburn in and out that time. Looked good all the way and just flopped out. And he said he wants to get his offense in gear after this gimmick defense, and that's why he takes the timeout. So Kentucky calls a timeout with 8 minutes, 54 seconds left. And the Wildcats holding a two-point lead. When I grow up, I'm going to save the whales. I'm going to have a big submarine like the man on TV. First, I got to learn how to swim real good. Then, I got to go to college. I got to get a marine biologically PhD. My mom and dad say I need that. They say, too, if I make good grades, they'll pay for it. My teacher says I draw frogs better than anybody. Jefferson Pilot, Insurance and Financial Services. Boy, it's great to be going home. I've enjoyed living in Philadelphia, and the decision to move wasn't an easy one. But Philadelphia's not Louisville. Louisville's home to Paul and me. Our friends and our family are there. It's a place where I can be happy in my job and raising my family.
Jackie Hayes joins Don Schroeder on Wave 3 News at 6 and 11 o'clock beginning Monday. It is great to be coming home. <laughs> <laughs> 8.54 left here 67-65 Kentucky leading LSU all last night after Kentucky had beaten Ole Miss everyone kept saying it's going to be a great game tomorrow LSU and Kentucky it's lived up to its oh, billing no question about it what great play from Manuel and Chapman on the other end Joe Blanton needs to get really in gear quickly we're going down to the wire it's like a heavyweight fight uh, one Guy lines a solid punch, and the other guy shakes it off and comes back to score one of his own. Kentucky had that big run, and LSU got the, the, the free throw rebound and stuck it in for a four-point play, and that's what got him back in it quickly. Kentucky, this half is perfect on three tray attempts, and LSU one of three from three-point land, and the star of the second half, just as Daryl Joe was in the first half, has been Kentucky's Eric Manuel, who has passed his previous career high of 14 points to notch 17 this afternoon, and he also has six rebounds. Let's see what Kentucky changes after the timeout against this uh, triangle and two defensive concept. The man that's going to be open again, it looks like it's going to be Manuel. Manuel or Davender will be open. Because Blanton has to guard one of the two, the other line two up top. Winston Bennett, don't forget about him. Oh, he says, you can put a gimmick on me. I don't care. I'll score anyway. Winston Bennett has 23. Manuel has 17. Chapman has 19. That's the bulk of the Kentucky score. Well, the concept of a gimmick defense, if you're playing a man-to-man -man zone, you've got to deny the basketball to the guy you're guarding man-to-man. -man. Which side didn't? Vargas. Jump hook comes off. Rebounded by Manuel. Rebound number seven for the freshman. Well, you can't get a much better shot. It just didn't fall. They really worked it well. 69-65. Kentucky up court with the lead. Under eight minutes to play. Chapman got away from the defense. Then they picked him up. And his off-balance shot is picked up by Woodside. Everyone just froze. And Woodside picked it up. Chapman forced that one. Vargas. Oh. Was that a big step or what? 16 points for the big man, Jose Vargas, who today played in his 128th game as a Tiger tying Howard Carter for most appearances by LSU. And Howard Carter broke, broke someone else's record. You know who he broke? Mine. Is that right? Yeah. I never liked Howard Carter for that. <laughs> Davender's open. You said he'd be one of the men that would be open. He hit it. That's his seventh point of the game. It just makes sense if you're playing one man and a zone defense at the free throw line. You put your two wingmen close together and make him choose between one or the other. And trailing by four points, LSU calls a timeout with seven minutes and three seconds left in the game. Timeout with a score. Kentucky 71, LSU 67. How to shave a giant. Avoid big trouble. Use the Gillette Good News Plus Disposable. It's got the Lubra Smooth Strip. So the comfortable shave for a giant is... This little guy. Good News Plus. From Gillette. In life... Power comes in all forms. We make the kind that goes in your car. High octane Gulf Super Gasoline, where the power lives. To make a superior biscuit, Hardee's relies on advanced technology, like our automatic buttermilk processor, heavy equipment, meticulously formulated components. At Hardee's, our biscuits are made totally from scratch by the most complex piece of machinery known. Hardee's Rise and Shine Biscuits. Get them with eggs, hash rounds, and saucy ham or bacon in our big country platter. It's the least we can do to win you over. Tom Hammond, Jordy Holper, Gary Sparber, and Bayou Land. Baton Rouge, Louisiana, where Kentucky leads LSU 71-67 in the first semifinal game of the SEC tournament. One giant step for LSU, Vargas. Boy, what a long jumper he'd be. 
Second team All-SEC in the UPI voting, Jose Vargas, who is sure to be drafted by the NBA. He'll go for semis. LSU 54, Kentucky down in the 30s at halftime, has pulled it up to 50. And when they shoot better than 50% from the field, they have not been beaten. That says it all there. 7.03 to go, Thomas. And still very much up for grabs. Sims wide open from 17. Count it. Well, they worked a triangle there with Blanton on the wing, Vargas down low, and Sims at the side high post. He can nail that shot down. 71-69, the Kentucky lead. Wildcats with the ball. Here's Locke against Vargas. Collision, that'll be a charging foul on Rob Locke. That's number four. <laughs> Vargas flirting with death, Eddie Sutton's going, what is that? Let's see it. The pass to Locke. Vargas, verticality. Vargas went straight up. He has the right for that position. And Locke leaned in. Good call. Locke with four, and LSU with a chance to tie it. Blanton lets it go. It's good. Game is tied for the 12th time at 71 apiece. Manuel skipped it across court. Davender opened but didn't take it. Locke comes out to get it and they set it up again. The shot will come from the top of the key area. That's what's open. Manuel faked but didn't take it. Davender will. That's it. Ed Davender, that was a two-point shot. Nine in the game for Davender at 73-71, Cats. Then it went for the steal, that left Sims open. But he got the roll. Wayne Sims ties the game again. They're cheating down toward Vargas in the low block, and Sims is wide open. He'll nail it nine out of ten times from the free throw line. If Davender and Manuel play pitch and catch, they'll get any shot they want. Manuel. Davender. No good. Sims on the rebound. LSU a chance to take the lead. They're three on two. Joe for three. No good. Blanton battling for it. Knocked out of bounds. It'll go to Kentucky. Blanton hit it last, and they're battling. The rule of a fast break is the point man comes to the free throw line, stops, looks to pass or shoot. Joe pulled out too far that time, stopped at the three point line. Manuel's got that shot if he wants it. He does all night. Manuel or Davender, those are the ones that have the green light. They'll be open. Less than five minutes to play. Kentucky leads 75 73. Joe looks inside, nothing there. Woodside on a wing, Vargas. See how Remember? Chapman doubles down? That's Bernard Woodside, that was a two-point shot, a two-point shot by Woodside. And that, well, they gave him three. The referees didn't raise their hands, but they put three up there. Is that right? I don't know, I didn't, Eddie Sutton is questioning. Whoops. I didn't see them I raise their hands. Either. Now they change it, it's 75-75. Okay. Good call, Tom. Manual, no good. Manuel got it back and laid it in. No, no basket. He stepped out of bounds. No basket. He stepped out of bounds. Great hustle, though. Manuel misses the outside shot, but he follows his own shot. His foot right there out of bounds. Excellent camera work. What a crew. 75-75. Four minutes, nine seconds to play. Jose Vargas operating against Locke with four fouls. Looks like he's got to stick that. There's Vargas again. His shot is no good. Bennett has the rebound for Kentucky. Chapman into front court for the Wildcats. Looking for the lob. Not there. He almost lost the ball. Manuel saves it. Locke and Manuel both looking for that backdoor lob. Kentucky sets it up on the half court. And a few more triangle two. Three playing a zone. Two playing man-to-man -man on Chapman and Bennett. Here's Locke against Vargas. His shot, no good. Tapped once, not there. Still loose. Out of bounds to Kentucky. Arms going everywhere. Kentucky players pointing one way. LSU players pointing another way. Only one that counts was Don Shea. Dale Brown sneaks a peek at the scoreboard. 
looks very calm. On the outside. <laughs> yeah, really. Three and a half minutes to go. We're tied at 75. He's set and telling his team to be careful. <laughs> Avenger's wide open. That's the shot, but they're really trying to get the ball inside to pick up another one on Vargas. Now they're going to hold it for a bit. Eddie Sutton right over there talking to Davender. With the score tied, though, that really favors LSU because that puts the pressure on Kentucky to work to get a good shot with not much time on the clock. Now here they go. 14 seconds on the shot clock. Davender wide open. He got it. The senior, Ed Davender, with his 11th point, puts Kentucky on top by two. Guard play so important. Kentucky with two of the best. Manuel, really, they play with a three-guard team. Tough shooters. We'll see if LSU can answer. Sims. Foul on Winston Bennett as Sims made his move. That's number four on Bennett. Sims, anytime you hear the whistle, you put it up. Sims open at the foul line, puts the ball on the floor. There's the reach. The whistle, he should have put the shot up. He may have gotten two on it. Bennett with four fouls. He is the leading scorer in the game with 23 points, equaling Daryl Joe's mark of LSU. So Bennett with four, Locke with four for Kentucky. Well, there have been some great LSU-Kentucky games through the years, and down to the wire job, this one. Moving up to the billing. Sims will have one more. You see the bench, not very often used by Dale Brown. Come March time. Wayne Sims is hit six of seven from the floor and now two of two at the line to tie the game at 77, 15th time. Lock against Vargas, back way outside to Davender. And again, they let the clock tick away just a little bit before they go into their play. 2.20 remaining in the game. I really think this favors the defense because now they have to get a good shot in a quick period of time. 12 seconds on the shot clock, Davender. There's Manuel. Oh, boy. That's a three-pointer. Eric Manuel for three. He's been sensational. Boy, very well described. They can't go with this great defense anymore. Too many openings. We've got a timeout taken by LSU. A minute 51 left on the three-pointer by Manuel. Kentucky leads by three. We'll be back after a word from your local SEC station. Imagine for a minute that this is the phone in your kitchen. Now you can use it to do something you might never have thought possible. Now it's all you need to apply for a loan at First National, even if you've never banked with us before. All you do is call the loan phone between 8 and 8 weekdays and 9 to 4 Saturdays, and you'll hear back from us in less than an hour. If you need a loan, any loan, just pick up the phone. Today's automobiles are engineered with exacting standards and precise specifications. So when your car is damaged, it is critical that it is restored to match these exact specifications. Otherwise, the car's value and your safety may be jeopardized. To ensure that your car is repaired correctly, have your bodywork done by a shop using Continental Collision Repair Systems. Continental's precise, calibrated systems ensure proper repair. Ask for Continental at these collision repair centers. Don't compromise. Demand Continental. 80-77 with a minute 51 to go and LSU in possession of the basketball. Eric Manuel, Kentucky's freshman, 10 of 15 from the field. He has been on fire in the second half. Three-pointer at a crucial time. He's been on fire and he loves it. Kentucky had only one three-point basket at halftime. But in the second half, they have now upped it to 7 of 15 for the game. There's the situation. Both teams with a lot of timeouts left, shooting the ball exceptionally well from the free throw line. Kentucky, 5 of 6. They usually get more attempts than that. Possession to LSU. LSU is out ready to go. And... Kentucky just being called out of the huddle. With only a minute 51 to go, LSU not in any foul trouble. Vargas and Joe only three. Kentucky has Bennett with four and Locke with four. So those are two to remember. 
said Kentucky only had one three-point goal at halftime. They actually had three. They were three of 11 at halftime. They've hit four three-point baskets in this half. Well, she wants to get a good shot inside. Daryl Joe lost it, but got it back before it went into backcourt. Not for the faint of heart, is it? Vargas. Woodside looking back to Vargas. Remember, Locke Gardner has four fouls. Woodside. Wow. Bernard Woodside with a three-point shot. Okay, Woodside, you proved it to me. I said you weren't a good shooter. That's your second three-pointer. You're a good shooter. 16th time the game has been tied. And again, I go back to the fight analogy. It looks like one team has delivered a knockout punch. The other one gets off the canvas to score one of his own. Frazier out lead. The thriller in Manila. Here's Rob Locke. Not much there. Locke forces it up. It whoa, it went through. It rattled down. Boy, what a play. Both teams on target. Only the fourth point of the game for Rob Locke, but it puts Kentucky up two with 48 seconds left. Darrell Joe double teamed. Here's Woodside. Blanton. Jose Vargas at long range. Woodside inside to Sims. Knocked out of bounds. Bennett hit it and then off Sims' hands at Kentucky. A big play. Well, if she wants a timeout now, who do you foul for Kentucky? They're excellent from the free throw line, so a lot of pressure. You see in this situation, who wants to take the shot in crunch time? Sims has to release from the pressure. No one touched it. Kentucky's ball. You know, they were facing away from us. I thought it had uh, gone off first Bennett and then Sims. As it turns out on that end zone replay, neither team Air touched ball. it. They just bounced untouched out of bounds. So when you're, when you're being guarded so closely, Tom, and the pass into the open side, you must release and come meet the basketball. Sims waited. That caused a turnover. Here's the situation. 37 seconds remaining in this semifinal game. Kentucky leading LSU 82 to 80. Kentucky will have the basketball. They'll come the length of the court. Shot clock is off, so LSU has to get try and go for the steal. And then the quick foul. They've got to make it a fouling situation because with a three-point shot, they're not out of it. Blank can shoot the three, so can Joe. The winner moves on to the championship game tomorrow. The winner of that one with an automatic berth in the NCAA tournament. Kentucky is a cinch to go. LSU would be on the bubble. And off this performance today, you'd have to think... They rated a tournament bid. Well, Bennett's their worst free throw shooter on the floor, and he's at 71%. So, uh, you know, you pick and choose. But today, he's three for three. So I don't believe in the past stats. I believe in what they did today. And they have everybody on the floor is a good shooter. You know, Jordy, so many times games come down to free throw shooting and what a gigantic edge it is to have a good free throw shooting club. In this situation, though, Davender hasn't taken a free throw, nor has Locke. So I've got to believe if Locke touches it, they'll really go for him to see if he can hit it in the clutch. Kentucky has attempted only six free throws in the game, hitting five of them. LSU has attempted two, four, six, eight, ten. And they have connected on nine of ten. Boy, the strategy. This is what I love about college basketball late in the game. The strategy going on. A lot of talking going on. A lot of fingers being crossed. And the crowd on the edge of their seats. Dale Brown trying to weave his magic and pull out another win. They went through a period there when uh, they had lost... 10 or 12 straight postseason games. But in the last few years, the Tigers have been tough at tournament time. 82-80, 37 seconds left. Full court pressure from LSU. Davender, Chapman, Manuel, very good ball handlers. Seldom turn the basketball over. Bennett gives it in to Chapman. Chapman fouled immediately by Woodside, who looked like he was going for a downfield block. <laughs> He reached in for the ball. That avoided the intentional foul. And since that's only the 16 foul, Kentucky will get the ball again. It took three seconds before the foul. That's good. They fouled quickly because a foul doesn't warrant a one and one. The next one will. Bennett again will throw it in. Lobs it to Manuel. He's surrounded and fouled. That'll be on Daryl Joe. Number four on Joe. It sends the freshman, Eric Manuel, to the line. He has hit his only prior free throw attempt. That was in the first half, and he is an 81% free throw shooter. But he is a freshman, 
He's and this friend. is a crucial situation. Yeah, Brown, Brown wanted to walk here. Let's see what happens. The lob pass. He still had his left foot down, the pivot foot. No walk there. He's only had 37 attempts on the year, so that's not many. Pressure time. Kentucky by two. Manuel shoots the bonus. Took a deep breath, and it's good. Oh. This is what makes the three-point rule such a great rule in college basketball because now he's got to hit the next one. Or it's still LSU has a chance. 33 seconds to play. Manuel with his second free throw. He got them both. Eric Manuel, <laughs> the freshman, stepped to the line, blocked everything out, took a deep breath, and put in two to give Kentucky an 84-80 lead. Eric Manuel with 24 points this afternoon and he has been the difference in the game what a difference a half a day makes they played the the first game in the evening session last night as you mentioned he had goose eggs nothing no points sat down the majority of the game boy is he on fire tonight 24 points 10 of 15 shooting seven boards and Jordy, it just illustrates the balance of this Kentucky team. If you stop one man, there's someone else to take up the slack. Here's a big one by Manuel, the three-point shot that really got Kentucky in front down the stretch of this game. Trailing by four, it takes two possessions. So you look to get the best shot you can, whether it be a three-pointer or probably, more likely, a high percentage shot inside the lane to try and maybe draw the foul. And then they've got to go again with the, with the uh, statistics and try and foul Kentucky. See the timeout situation? Kentucky was hitting only 39% in the first half. They're up to 51% for the game. So if you manage to, to stop one of the other Kentucky players, somebody else comes up to take up the slack. It's 24 points today for Manuel. 23 for Bennett. Chapman has 19, Davender 11. They've only gotten two points off the bench. You know, as a coach now, you have to tell them first, think offense, get the best shots you can. And just like that, the turn of a dime, you've got to really be alert and quickly get on the defensive side and come up with a big play. Kentucky right. with a little pressure to take some time off the clock, Tom. Full court pressure, Kentucky. Here's Joe bringing it into front court for the Tigers. They trail by four. You see the clock. Woodside. Let it go. Sims. Joe for three. Rebounded by Rob Locke, who saves it in bounds. And uh, Woodside had a foot out of bounds as he took the basketball. It'll go to Kentucky. Wow. Woodside picked it up and had a sneaker on the out of bounds oh, line. Whoa, oh, boy. Whoa, oh, recap. You'll see an automatic foul. If they throw it to Locke, somebody will run and tackle him. 13 seconds left. Davender fouled by Sims. So Ed Davender, he is the leading free throw shooter in the Southeastern Conference, will go to the line where he hits 85.6%. Well, they had no choice. They had to foul him with only 11 seconds to go up four, or down four, rather, if you're only few as they confer. Ed Davender, for his career at Kentucky, has hit 414 free throws, which is third all-time for the Wildcats. One of the guys ahead of him, one of the two ahead of him, our colleague Danison. A lot of freebies, especially from the guard spot. There you see the excellent free throw shooting by the senior out of Boys and Girls High in Brooklyn. Free throw shooting down the stretch will win you a lot of tournament games. No question about it, in the clutch. And the guards from Kentucky took over in the second half. Manuel, I consider him a guard. What a game. Wildcats were down five points at halftime. They lead by five, and Davender tries to make it six. He got both of them. And Kentucky calls a timeout with 11 seconds left on the clock. You're impressed by the effort put forth by LSU after all the emotional tugs of the past week. And you're also impressed by Kentucky's play. They were down by five. The crowd was behind LSU. It looked like they might get a run going to blow Kentucky out of here. And the Wildcats regroup. They found 
a star from their ranks in Eric Manuel. Winston Bennett had a solid game, and Kentucky in control with 11 seconds left. It's been a great college basketball game. Both teams playing with a lot of pride. You know, Kentucky already won the SEC regular season. They have an NCAA bid locked up, but they didn't take anything for granted. They really have played well, and both teams on the top of their game. What a college basketball game it's been. 11 ticks of the clock left. Kentucky's going to go to the NCAA tournament for the 33rd time, which is tops in college basketball. It'll be nine in a row for them, and for Eddie Sutton, he'll take 12 straight teams to the NCAA tournament, which is second only to Dean Smith, who'll have 14 this year. LSU, well, they deserve a tournament bid, I think. They've proven it today, and they, of course, have been to nine straight postseason tournaments, seven of those NCAAs and four of them in a row. With beating Oklahoma in the, the preseason, beating Vanderbilt three times in the regular season in the tournament, and playing Kentucky close today, I thought that's all they had to do. If they won, automatic. If they play close, I still think they're in, and they do deserve it. Eric Manuel, the difference in the game in the second half. They gave Manuel the shots, and he converted. He <laughs> answered. Darryl Joe for three, no good. Lock up strong to get the rebound. He's fouled with three seconds left. It's all over. You know, some going to win and some going to lose, but what a great game it's been. LSU, nothing to hang their head down about. And Kentucky, the class of the league. What talent. There's Dale Brown. He gives us a chance here to take a look at our golf MVPs for the game. Darrell Joe of LSU had that great first half, 18 points. He finishes with 23 for the game. And for Kentucky, the freshman Eric Manuel, who winds up with a game-high 24 points, 17 of those in the second half. Locke misses the free throw. Woodside rebounds, and the game will come to an end. As part of the Golf Oil Most Valuable Player Award Scholarship Program, Golf will donate $1,000 to the General Scholarship Fund of both Kentucky and LSU. Sutton and Brown, courtside after a tremendous college basketball game. Two fine teams, LSU now 16 and 13. Kentucky goes to 24 and 5. The final score again, the Wildcats of Kentucky 86 and the Tigers of LSU 80. We'll be back to the Assembly Center in Baton Rouge in just a moment. Years ago, I opened my first bakery with 50 pounds of flour and two rules. Make the best, hire the best. Now I have over 100 employees. But keeping the best people means good pay and better benefits. And better benefits can cost. Oh, well. I'll make it. I mean, after all, I've uh, survived inflation, recessions, and even those little frozen crescent rolls. Jefferson Pilot Insurance and Financial Services. These days, people talk a lot about truth in labeling. At Budweiser, we started our own truth and labeling program over a hundred years ago. And what was true a hundred years ago is still true today. Budweiser, the king of beers. Back in Baton Rouge, where the Kentucky Wildcats have earned a berth in the championship game for the Southeastern Conference Tournament with a thrilling 86-80 victory over LSU. Kentucky coming from behind to beat the Tigers. Stay tuned now. Coming up should be another fine game as the Cinderella team of the SEC Tournament, the Bulldogs of Georgia, trying to earn a berth in the finals opposite Kentucky as they take on the Florida Gators. Well, Kentucky with that victory, getting a chance to make it to the finals. They've won the SEC Tournament Championship 15 times over their great basketball history, twice since the tournament was revived in 1979, in 84, and in 86. Kentucky finishes with 51% shooting from the field to 54% for LSU. At the free throw line, Kentucky 9 of 11, and LSU 9 of 11. In the rebounding department, it was LSU with a slight edge. 32 rebounds for the Tigers to 30 for Kentucky. And turnovers, 10 only for the University of Kentucky 
while LSU turned it over 12 times. It was a tremendous college basketball game, as we expected. And let's go to Jordy Haltberg, courtside with the winning Wildcats. Well, Tom, thank you, and what a great game it was. And let's talk to the senior. You came through inside with the offensive rebounds, and what a game. Well, it was a, a pretty good game for us. Oh, we come on, pretty good. We knew it was going to be a battle. We knew LSU was going to be fired up to death of Don Redden. They was really going to rally around that and house like a crusade. And we, we came together as a ball club and said that we're going to be on a mission ourselves. And our mission is to win this SEC tournament. And the second step was beating LSU. With your inside game, they really worked to get you the basketball. And because of that, LSU had to go to that gimmick defense, a triangle and two. You really went to work on the boards and inside the lane. I felt like if I wasn't going to get the ball, then I'd have to get it off the glass. So that was basically uh, what I was going to try to do. The Warrior, great game, congratulations. And now, the man who answered the wake-up call after going scoreless last night, you come out today, your career high, 24, they were giving you that outside shot and you didn't hesitate. Oh yeah, um, I knew I had to come out and you know, look for my shot because last night, you know, I was kind of off and I really didn't get into it. So today, you know, I kind of, uh, second half, I, you know, it started falling from me and it started, you know, playing a trick defense, you know, um, on Rex and Ed. So I knew I had to step in and hit the big shot. With six consecutive points to start the second half, did you ever think you'd come out like gangbusters and keep it rolling like that for the whole 20 minutes? Uh, no, I never thought I'd know I'd come out like that, but I'm happy I did. Congratulations. And now the head man, Eddie Sutton, where is coach? What a great college basketball game. Congratulations. Jordan, that's one of those games that's just too bad someone has to lose because both teams really played with a high level of intensity, and uh, LSU gave us everything we wanted. I thought the difference... We attacked the zone much better in the second half and got ourselves in better position to take high percentage shots. And then when he went to the trick defenses, uh, it left uh, Manuel open and Bennett open. But they did do a good job in shading uh, Davner and, and Rex when they did that. Well, actually, they guarded Bennett inside, so you got the two guards out front in uh, Davner and, and uh, Manuel. And who do you, who, how can you leave those two alone? It's tough. You got such a great perimeter game, and if they go to those freaks, it's tough to, you know, it's tough. Well, that's true, and I thought the other thing we did pretty uh, well, we really did a good job on Blanton on Vargas. Mm -hmm. so those two guys are such outstanding players. Uh, you, when you, you really concentrate on one or two players, just like you said, you're going to leave some people open in Joe and uh, Woodside. Uh, Sims hit some big shots for her in the second half. Everybody kind of talked about coming into this tournament. Well, Kentucky won the regular season. They were a shoe-in for the NCAA tournament, and no one really considered y'all. Everybody was talking about Auburn, LSU, and their home court. It says a lot about their team's character that you keep playing hard every night out. This team, uh, when they play well, they can play with anyone in the country. In the second half, I think we displayed that. Uh, they certainly do have a lot of character, and I'm very proud of them. Congratulations. You're in the finals. Good luck the rest of the way. Gary, just an outstanding college basketball game. It's a shame like Eddie Sutton said, somebody had to lose, but that's the name of the game. Well, Jordy, it was a typical super tournament game. You felt maybe LSU was going to be a team of destiny if ever there was going to be one, but right down the stretch, Kentucky really showed their class, able to hit the key shots from the outside, and Rob Locke, not the guy you would expect to get the winning shot, but with the score tied at 80, they got it to lock inside, and Locke able to come up with what eventually were the winning points. Now, coming up, we've got Georgia taking on Florida to find out who it is that will meet Kentucky in the final tomorrow. Back with more from Baton Rouge in a few. This is a change. This is new. Howard Johnson, can this be you? This is Howard Johnson today. This is Howard Johnson today. This is Howard Johnson today. Changing in so many colorful, comfortable ways. This is Howard Johnson today. This is Howard Johnson today. A commitment to quality, a philosophy of design leadership, a dedication to continuous improvement. According to Road and Track, it adds up to Ford Taurus, the best sedan value in the world. Winning the world over. How to shave a giant. Avoid big trouble. Use the Gillette Good News Plus Disposable. It's got the Lubra Smooth Strip. So the comfortable shave for a giant is... This little guy. Good News Plus. From Gillette. 
You see what we have coming up from Baton Rouge. The Georgia Bulldogs taking on the Florida Gators. The winner of that game will be in the championship game tomorrow against Kentucky. Kentucky is six-point winner over LSU. Now, for you local stations along the line, we know that we just missed your local break, but our next opportunity to take a break will be your local terminal break. Good ball game we just got done with. 86 to 80, the Kentucky Wildcats won it over LSU. An excellent first half for LSU, for Ricky Blanton, for Daryl Joe, who really got the job done defensively. And LSU had a five-point lead at halftime. Kentucky caught up quickly, a controversial goaltending call midway through the second half, got the Wildcats even, and in fact, they took the lead on that sequence. And then it went down, right down to the wire. Bernard Woodside hit a key three-pointer at one stage to get LSU even, but down the stretch, when it was who was going to hit the key outside shots? It turned out to be Kentucky. Eric Manuel turned out to be the guy who hit a big three-pointer from the right side, and Rob Locke came up with a winning bucket from the inside. That made it 82-80, and Kentucky went on to win it 86-80. Now, coming up next, we've got Georgia taking on Florida here in Baton Rouge. The winner of that one gets Kentucky tomorrow. Back with more after this local terminal break. Bellevue City presents a $3 million buyout from one of America's leading police makers, Bassett Walker. Save 50 to 70% off police active wear for your entire family. Featuring ladies' tops, pants, and jackets, not $9 to $15, your choice $3.99. Men's fleece tops and bottoms, not $9 to $15, your choice $3.99. And infant, toddler, and boys and girls fleece separates, not $5 to $10, only $1.99 and $2.99. Hurry in while quantities last. The $3 million Bassett Walker fleece buyout at all Bellevue City department stores. Wave 3 News at 6 o'clock is now 30 minutes long. We want you to know why. Several years ago, an hour of local news was a good idea. But your letters, our research, and yes, the ratings, have told us that most people today don't have an hour for local news. Now, some will say we can't give you quality news coverage in half the time. We say, watch us. Wave 3 News with Don Schroeder and Jackie Hayes. Now 30 minutes at 6 and 11 o'clock. The new choice. Alcohol and drugs may be wrecking your life because you or someone close to you is abusing them. If you need help, call Communicare Recovery Center. Communicare means hope. People's Court moves to 4 o'clock beginning Monday. We know who one finalist will be in the SEC Tournament Championship game tomorrow. That's Kentucky. They've beaten LSU, but we're looking forward to the game that is going to decide who will play Kentucky, and that is Georgia meeting Florida in the game to come. Gary Sparber along with Dan Issel and Dan, Georgia and Florida, I can't think of a more unpredictable get-together. Georgia's been up and down all year in Florida. Well, they're up and down from half to half or from minute to minute. They really are, and I guess the answer to who meets Kentucky in the finals will be which, uh, which one of the teams show up. Will the good Florida team show up or will the mediocre Florida team show up? I think one thing that Georgia has to have is a better game today from Willie Anderson. I still can't figure out how Georgia beat Auburn with Willie Anderson going uh, only uh, six points in that ball game. I think they have to have a big game from Willie Anderson. He had 38 points in the game at Georgia and Georgia beat Florida. In the game at Florida, Florida was victorious. Now, obviously, the guy for Florida that everything revolves around literally is Dwayne Shinsis. Now, you are one of the best big men in the history of the Southeastern Conference. Dwayne Shinsis has ambitions of being that, and he can be at times, but at other times, he's been downright horrible, to be frank about it.